my own squeaky shoes for that very fast because I'm like, I'm going to squeak down the hallway. It's going to be horrible. You ready? Huh? And we're back. This is Susan Hamilton, and you're listening to the Offbeat Business Show, and we're talking to Mindy Moser and Jim Blythe of KVCE, and they're sharing some really important things with us today, things that I was not aware of until I ended up having a really wonderful conversation with Mindy. Uh, Jim and I were talking, having a blast, learning about <laughs> some of the endeavors he's doing. We've got homeless veterans in America. One in 37. Oh, my stars. Oh, if you talk with Bob Sweeney down at Dallas Life, they got 18 percent typically um, that are veterans that are homeless. What's that percentage? About 18 percent, and I've Is got that a good. Okay to you? Yeah, I've got a good. No, I've got a good friend that down in Houston and runs about the same thing, and so we've got this problem of homelessness, and it all relates back to the PTSD and the other things, and a lot of the things like Dallas Life is a recovery program, but it's not permanent housing. Okay. So what we're doing with uh, Heroes House is we're providing permanent housing where the veteran can use a bash voucher. They can actually use a voucher to pay for the majority of the rent. So is, are we talking about, when I'm thinking, getting a visual on this, Jim, is this an apartment complex? Yes. Okay. We've got one on Highland in Dallas that was completed. It was a burned out, beat up, drugged out mess. Gary got it, uh, completely redid it. It's better than brand new. 31 units, they were occupied in less than two weeks with veterans. Uh, we do activities Christmas morning, Gary and I put on a pancake breakfast. So we've been working with these vets. Uh, we have another property that we have bought the land and going to start construction. We have a third property we're trying to buy in Dallas and we would renovate that. So Gary has done a beautiful job with the uh, Heroes House Highland property. And it's just terrific, and the guys are doing well. So we're also then going to start bringing programs like Mindy is a registered certified um, recovery specialist. Peer or, recovery coach. Yeah, peer re and I've been through the peer recovery program. I didn't know very much about much of this because I've been in real estate and mortgage pretty much all my life. And I've done a lot of VA loans and been down to the Lancaster, the VA center, and been down to Waco. And then when they asked me to be on KBCE, all of a sudden I'm inundated and Chuck Wright and I have this program and I have learned so much in such a short period of time that I had no earthly idea all the wow. things that were going on. Um, so what we're doing is being a information source, KBCE, Monday night through Thursday night, six to seven o'clock, that's 1160 AM. Monday we talk about finance, Tuesday is education with Tarrant County, Wednesday is advocacy and Thursday is we honor a hero. So we, Mindy and I are bringing on this week, uh, Lynn Scott, and she's got a book about um, how to use, how to make nonprofits work. It's because a lot of people are wanting to have a nonprofit to be able to help veterans and to be able to do things. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So each week we bring on people and communicate. And then I'm also a certified senior advisor. So there's a bigger issue, which it all interrelates, and that's the seniors. Yeah. Most of my clients are veterans, believe it or not, that are World War II in Korea. Would and you say we've got a generation gap of understanding what these issues oh, are? Oh, yeah. As a CSA, I see it all the time. We've got, with you basically, I work with two groups. Okay. Born from 1920 to 1940, and then after 1940, till you get into the 1950s in the baby boomer generation. Totally different attitudes, totally different issues. We have 10,000 people a day turning 65. That's national statistics. That's gonna go on for a number of years, something in the neighborhood of over 17 million people. Of that, 10,000 a day. It's been documented that they think about 85% are not prepared. My work as a CSA for the last 10 years, about 95%. And we got the same problem with veterans. These are many times are young men who went in to the military, lived a very, very structured life. They come out and they get into the real world and there's no structure unless you know how to do it. And so I wrote a book called Planning to Change to try and help people. 
what we try and do is focus people to plan to go forward, plan for retirement, plan their lives. And that's the whole biggest part of recovery is teaching them how to plan and how to go forward. Put and one foot in front of the other. Absolutely. It ties into what Mindy just said about ch changing the way you think. You have to reprogram. And exactly. Yeah. You have to reprogram. Yeah. And then a lot of seniors, they hit uh, mid-60s, early 70s. They leave their job either voluntarily or involuntarily, and all of a sudden they're lost. And let me tell you, I feel like 95% of those people that are lost of the 10,000, that's going to be a gigantic economic burden on this country. And it's already being an economic burden on those people when they go from a productive life down to minimal social security. Now, some of them can't reinvent themselves. Some of them can't do and various so things. so many are, though. Then that's so encouraging. So many are. And yeah. that's part of what we're trying to do with KVCE, Tarrant County, and other outlets is to get the information out. And there's a lot of information that is really coming about within the last two or three years. And so we're seeing all of this grow. We're seeing it change people's lives. Just like the Veterans Court, we had the Mindy and the first graduate of the Denton County Court, Matt Sowat. Sowat. Sowat, and uh, he's an incredible young guy. And he was- uh, I'm so excited about that. A I Marine, just, yeah, yeah. I love that. Two, day, two DWIs. You know, his life was a train wreck. And now you look at this guy and you go, wow, he is fantastic. He could be in a movie. He's so such a good guy. <laughs> and I tell you what, you see the turnaround. And I've seen it in other people. We also, I talked with a veteran today and was trying to help him. And he was in country. And I said, did you get hit with Agent Orange? And he said, oh, yeah. I've had uh, cancer problems. I've had prostate problems. I've had skin problems. So we've got all kinds. We've got World War II that are just getting to the end. We've got Korea, that they're having problems. We've got Vietnam and their problems. Now we've got these guys coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. And one of the things in talking with all of the people that I have interviewed, Clint Bruce, uh, who started Carry the Load, uh, Chuck Wright and I are on it all the time together. And we say, we're not gonna let it happen again. We're not gonna let this round of veterans go through what the Vietnam group went through. No, we don't have to. And it's not the government's job to fix it. It's ours. We, we the people. We've got to do something about it. And, and talking about it is stage one, in my opinion. Bringing the awareness yeah. and getting that and being their voice, Well, too. if you know these types of things, how many of uh, people, how many of you are listening to the show and you know when you're sitting at home at the kitchen table that how true this is? How many of you... Uh, are you are really experiencing this in your own life, in your own family, in your own business, and you or your own neighborhood, and uh, or the organizations that you serve? Uh, you know, it's one thing we've got problems, all right, but we got solutions, and you're a part of the solution. And if you'll reach out and and just realize that the reason it stirs you right here, the reason you feel it, is because there's something you can do about it, and you don't know what that is yet. So the first step is to take it beyond the kitchen table and go, get out and go to networking meetings, meet these people, go to their meetings, uh, listen to the shows because you're always talking about the resources where they That's can learn it. more. I eat, live, and breathe. I mean, and I was saying that but last night, you know, I eat, live, and breathe this information because it is so incredibly important. And um, you're gonna, you can always guarantee I'm gonna bring it up somehow, some way, mm -hmm. some shape. That's the way it is with me I criminal don't. justice. I have a hamburger with onions and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm passionate about criminal justice reform and I find, find that those are natural parts of my conversation also. Right. And that doesn't mean do everything the way I think it ought to be done. That means if we don't have a conversation, I don't know enough to, to make a difference. Well, that's, what's, that's yeah. what's so amazing. There's so much coming out. We've got a lot on the kvceradio.com website, all kind of events. I've got it on my website, jimblythe.net. Can you spell that, Jim? B-L-Y-T-H-E, Jim Blythe, B-L-Y-T-H-E like at BlytheCalifornia.net. So this, these shows that they're doing, he gets those and puts them on his website very much like OffBeatBusiness.com. So you can go back and listen to these replays and learn how you can plug in. Yep. And there's a lot of places. There's a lot of events coming up. Again, you can go to the KVC Radio website and you can see all the events that are listed. And we're there to help you. So if you got a problem, Mindy's got great help with peer group training, uh, with legal work and all that they do. I work with elderly 
in finance, teaching financial literacy, making things happen. So look us up, jimblythe.net, we 6 Yeah, And that's all spelled out. It is. W-E. I know. We 6 She got me all tongue-tied. It's W-E-S-I-X-W-H-O-S-E-E.com. And that's so you never forget it. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. I did did it on purpose. Uh huh. Well, it grabs that attention for sure. Friends, thank you so much for tuning in today and paying attention to these very important issues because we can make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Mindy. Thank Thank you, Jim. You've been watching the Offbeat Business Show. Remember, you can find the upcoming lineups, replays, and sign up for the magazine at offbeatbusiness.com. Yay. Yeah, I, can, I can get a lot of information for if he just uh, put out that I can click and edit.